Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Somesh. In this video, I will explain some more percentage related problems. Okay, if anyone missing part 1 and part 2, link is provided in the description. Please go through it. Okay, now coming to the problems. The first problem is a person multiplied a number by 4 by 5 instead of 5 by 4. What is the percentage error in the calculation? So let the number is x. Let the number x. A person multiplied with 4 by 5. So 4 by 5x. But the actual multiplication with 5 by 4. So 5 by 4x. What is the percentage of error? So 5 by 4x minus 4 by 5x by true value. That is equal to 5 by 4x into 100 percentage. So 5 by 4x minus 4 by 5x. That is equal to 9 by 20x divided by 5 by 4x. So x and x cancel. That is equal to 9 by 20 into 4 by 5. Of course, percentage. That's why it is multiplied with 100. So 20 into 5 is equal to 100, 100, 100 cancel, we'll get 36 percentage is the answer. Okay, now coming to the second problem, problem number 2. It's a very interesting problem. If A percent of A plus B percent of B is equal to 2 percent of AB, then what percent of A is B? So A percent of A plus B percent of B is equal to 2 percent of AB. So A percent of A that means A into A divided by 100 plus B percent of B, B into B divided by 100 is equal to 2 percent of AB, 2AB divided by 100. So here 100, 100, 100 cancel. A square plus B square is equal to 2AB. That means a square plus b square minus 2ab is equal to 0. That is equal to a minus b whole square is equal to 0. That is equal to a is equal to b. But the question is, then what percent of a is b? What percent of a? So here after of, a is there. After of, a is there. Already these problems are discussed in part 1 and part 2. So after of a is there, a should be in the denominator, b in the numerator multiplied with 100. But in the given problem, a is equal to b. By solving this equation, we'll get a is equal to b. So cancel here. We'll get 100% is the answer. Okay. Now coming to the problem number 3. The value of mobile phone depreciates at the rate of 10% every year. If its present value is 8100, then what was the price of the mobile phone two years ago? Here two years is period, two years ago. So this is very interesting question. So value of mobile phone at present is 8100. It depreciates 10% every year. So two years ago, what is the price? So 8100 divided by 1 minus 1 by 10. Here two years ago, so whole square. This two represents the number of years. So 8100 divided by 9 by 10 whole square. So that is equal to 8100 into 10 by 9 into 10 by 9. 9 into 9, 81. So 100 times will get 10,000 value. 10,000 rupees is the answer. Now coming to the fourth problem. Coming to the fourth problem. This is also a very interesting problem. In ABC college, 65% of students are less than 20 years of age. So the number of students more than 20 years of age is 2 by 3 of number of students of 20 years of age, which is 42. What is the total number of students in the ABC college? Very interesting question. So let total number of students are X. Is below 20% of A's, sorry, 20 years of A's is 65%. Okay, 65%. But above more than or equal to, more than or equal to 
20 years. 20 years of years. So remaining 100 minus 65, so 35 percent. So 35 into x by 100. 20, below 20 years of age, 65 percent. So more than or equal to 20 years of age, 35 percent. So total number of students are x. So 35 by x. 30, sorry, 35 into x by 100 is equal to more than or equal to 20 years of age. So now coming to the problem. The number of students more than 20 years of age is 2 by 3 of number of students of 20 years of age. So here 20 years of age is equal to 42 students. See just observe this line. The number of students more than 20 years of age is 2 by 3 of number of students of 20 years of age which is 42. So 20 years of age. 20 years of age students are 42 more than 20 years of age is two third of 42 so that is equal to 28 so here the more than or equal to 20 years of age is 35 x by 100 so this 35 x by 100 is equal to this 42 plus 28 it's a combination of 20 years of age students and more than 20 years of A students. So that is equal to 42 plus 28, 70. Therefore, x is equal to 70 into 100 by 35. So answer is 200. Total number of students are 200 students. Now coming to the fifth problem. If 30% of A minus B is equal to 20% of A plus B, then what percent of A is B after of A is there? Okay. So, anyhow, 30% of A minus B. 30% of A minus B is equal to 20% of A plus B. Then what percent of A is equal to B? So, 30 into A minus B by 100 is equal to 20 into A plus B divided by 100. 100, 100 cancel. So 30A minus 30B is equal to 20A plus 20B. So that is equal to that is equal to 10A is equal to 50B. So A by B is equal to 5 by 1. A by B is equal to 5 by 1. But the question is what percent of A is B after A? After of A is there. What percent of A is B? So after of A is there. So A should be in the denominator. B should be in the numerator. Multiplied with 100. So A by B is equal to 5 by 1. So B by A is equal to 1 by 5 into 100. So answer is 20%. Thank you.